Is the CFPB structure unconstitutional? And do you realize the value of hiring more mature employees? All this and more coming up in today's Screening News Update. AARP has released a study that might have recruiters looking more closely at the over 50 crowd. The study found that workers in this age group are the most engaged of all employees, which has a positive effect on retention and business results. The number of over 50 workers has increased since 2002, and they're expected to compose 35% of the workforce by 2022. The study shows other advantages to hiring more mature workers include their experience, professionalism, and work ethic, and lower turnover rates. Yahoo may have been scanning its customers' incoming emails for specific details requested by the U.S. government. According to Reuters, this top-secret assignment could derail the shiny new EU-U.S. Privacy Shield Agreement. Irish politicians say scanning emails from EU citizens would infringe on the very right to privacy that the agreement is meant to protect. Yahoo has not confirmed or denied that they scanned any emails on behalf of the government. European consumer organizations are now calling for an investigation. The U.S. Court of Appeals for the District of Columbia has made a dramatic decision about how the Consumer Financial Protection Bureau is run. The agency that was created under the Dodd-Frank Act in 2010 to police financial institutions has a director who answers to no one. The only other person in the entire government with that kind of autonomy is the president. When there is a single director leading an agency versus having a group in charge, the director must be a presidential appointee who can be removed from the position at will. Prior to this decision, the director of the CFPB could only be removed for cause, meaning he essentially had unchecked power. The situation has now been declared unconstitutional. The court says the fact that the president does not have oversight of the agency is a direct breach of Article 2 of the Constitution. On October 6th, a U.S. District Judge granted summary judgment to J.P. Morgan Chase in a case filed by a job applicant claiming the bank's hiring process violated the Fair Credit Reporting Act. The plaintiff says the bank violated the law by failing to give her a copy of her rights or a copy of the report which is generated by a service that pulls fingerprints from the FBI database. The judge found that since the company merely transmits information from the FBI and does nothing to actually evaluate the data, it's not a consumer reporting agency and is therefore not covered by the FCRA. Attorneys for the plaintiff have already said they plan to appeal the decision. Be sure to join us every week for more news and be sure to check out ebiinc.com for more screening information. I'm Jennifer Gladstone. See you next time.